Hey guys, this is Daniel. Today we're going to be installing factory roof rails on my 2019 Sprinter van. I have the 170 wheelbase model and I wanted to be able to put more things up on the top, so we're going to get them installed. Some of the supplies we'll be using is acetone, a heat gun, and butyl tape. Let's get started. That's awesome. They're already, they already have the bolts in them. Oh wow, he even supplies the butyl tape. There's a piece of butyl tape in there and there's a little scraper for the top of the plugs. So I won't even need the butyl tape. So it looks like it comes with the hardware as well, already pre-packaged. Has some washers here, washers here. I'm guessing these are for the top and these smaller ones are for the inside of the van. Here it's got the butyl tape and it's got a scraper for getting the last of the there's gonna be some stuff left over on the top of the plugs when you take it off. We'll use acetone, but we'll make sure you use a scraper first. Oh, these are the nuts. It looks like the nuts come with a washer, so they're flanged on the back. Mylar scraper tool. Here's the butyl. And it looks like they already come with the bolts put in with the little rubber washer on the outside. So I'll put these on the top under that rubber washer. So I'm guessing butyl, rubber washer, butyl, and then put it in. Man, these are gonna be easy to install. So the kit comes with some butyl tape. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the butyl tape and I'm gonna put it around the top of where the little rubber gasket is. So I'll make a little small cone around the threads just a little piece so they only give you enough for the actual uh, thread to go through the actual bolt to go through but I actually have another uh, batch of it because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it on the inside underneath the washers before I tighten the washers down so I just ordered this online it's a gray the one they give you is black I also plan to put Loctite on these threads once I get it through on the other side. Before I put the bolt on, I'm gonna use a little bit of the blue Loctite. So right here, this is what the plugs look like before you take, you push them out from the top. Before you add the heat gun, you'll see the plugs kind of sit, th come through the roof and it's really like a little, some sort of sealant that holds them in. Once I put the heat gun to it, that's gonna come right out. Once I've done that, it'll look like this. It'll have the hole coming all the way through. And what I'll do is I'll just take some acetone and clean up right around there. When they drop through the ceiling, sometimes they come out kind of dirty like this. That's that plug. So really got to make sure I get all that off of there and then clean the edge up with acetone. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to heat these up, these little plugs and I've got a little scraper tool that they pack inside the package. Um, I'm only gonna heat them up to it starts discoloring a little bit, the, um, I guess the glue around here, and then I'll try to scrape it off. I gotta try to stay away from this factory seal that they have here. That's good, he's right off. And I could scrape the last of it off. And I can use acetone to uh, get the last little bit of that cleaned up. So I got the acetone. One of the things I saw on the article that Hodaka guy wrote was to use acetone to get the little bit of this gooey stuff off. So that's what I'm gonna do. This is the same stuff that they have in nail polish remover. So you kind of want to be careful. You don't want to put it all over the spots that you don't need it in. Just get it that one spot, get it cleaned up, and you should be good to go. All right, I think we can move on to the next one. We'll do that for all the rails down one side, and then we'll go to the inside. So 
So the rail comes actually as two pieces on the 170. I don't know about the 144. It's got the front piece the, and the middle section has a little connector with it. So I'm gonna snap them both together, flip it over, and then we'll go to the bottom to tighten it down. So now I'll snap them together. All right. Make sure I get lined up. So now I should be able to set them over into the holes. I really like the idea, idea of using the uh, butyl tape. You can feel that it really sits down, has a good seal. I'll check the front and then we'll go to the bottom. I think we're good. All right, now we'll go to the bottom. We'll put butyl underneath, put some thread locker, put the washer and tighten it up. When we go to tighten it up, we're gonna tighten a little bit at each time. One bolt, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. That way we get an even tightening of it. Really like the idea of having these rails. Eventually we can put a roof rack up here or something. For now, mainly it's gonna to be to mount our solar panel. Actually, now that I've put the rail on top, the kit comes with a washer and a flange nut. The nut actually spins on the washer. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put more of the butyl on the outside here and make a cone just like I did on the top part. That way I can put the washer on there. It'll squeeze it, uh, squeeze that butyl between. I'll put the nut, but before I put the nut, I use this Loctite. Uh, it's the Loctite blue, which is funny because it comes in a red contain, a uh, red little uh, uh, container. <laughs> uh, then I'll torque it down. But I'm not gonna I'm not gonna torque them all real tight each. I'll just slowly go through each one of them. Uh, then we should be good. Now that we got it all tightened down, I think we're good. I really like this uh, kit. One of the big things is the scraper. This little scraper comes in really handy. When you're trying to get the, the factory glue off of these uh, holes, that little bitty scraper makes a big difference. I'm glad I'm not using like a, a screwdriver or something that can slip and, and scratch the paint. This little simple little piece really makes a difference. And I like the fact that the kit comes with a butyl tape. They are OEM factory rails. Um, it's just the people that sell them, they actually put it together in a kit. They add all the hardware, they add the little scraper tool, the butyl. So it's everything you need. Uh, I'll put a link to the original article that Hadoka guy wrote. And um, it explains everything. It has pictures in it. Uh, this is just a video overview. When I read his article, uh, it inspired me to put these up. I saw how easy it could be, so I wanted to try it. All right, thanks, guys. If you like the channel, subscribe, and please join in on the forums. If you're doing a build, we want to see it. We love feedback. We'd love to hear what you think. Any of the articles, follow us uh, and join in. We really uh, we want to build a community of this. Thank you.